installing a two and a half, two and five eighths inch spacer lift for the cargo trailer just because it sits in such a low profile trailer I'm having trouble running all my plumbing and it's uh, a Dexter lift for torsion axles it comes with four of these spacers that sit between the axle and the frame um, as I read some reviews online talking about how poor the paint job is you can see here how scratched I believe it says it's powder coated, but I don't think this is powder coated. I mean, it comes off of there really easy. But people were complaining that it was just rusting immediately. So, depending on where you live, you might want to hit that with a grinder, a wire wheel, or whatever, and repaint it. Um, it comes with nuts and washers, all your bolts, and instructions. So, I'm going to try to get this thing put on and see how it looks lift your trailer if you've got dual axles is just simply to you can see that drive your trailer one set of tires up onto ramps which will suspend the other tire off the ground super easy simple it's really safe I think um, basically to, to install this lift got to get my tire off both sides on the same axle I'm gonna loosen this axle but not take it off Go the other side and loosen it as well, and then I'll drop one side while leaving the other side hanging. Install the spacer, bolt it up, do the other side, put my tires back on, lower this back off, and do it all over again on the same on the other axle. Easiest way to get your lug nuts off is to loosen them while the trailer tire is still on the ground. Otherwise, it's kind of a pain. I already got these loosened. there's two bolts for right now that hold each side of the torsion axle to the frame. One here, one this back side. Okay, so I have the first side of the axle loosened up and then I've got this one jack stand holding the axle up this side is completely out and this is the bracket the open side faces out towards the tire and hopefully you can see this I'm just sliding that spacer right on top of the axle So the first spacer is in. Um, I did leave the, all four of the mounting bolts uh, loose for now because I still have to go across and do the other side. Okay, so the lighting is definitely better on this side. I'm going to show you the axle has dropped. Here's the mounting bracket. And here is, here's the spacer, it's got holes there and holes there. The open side of the bracket faces the outside of the trailer. It goes in just like that. I will line the bottom holes up. And the side holes up, tighten it up, put my tires back on, I'll be done. Here's the lift blocks installed, completed, tightened down. Okay, so the lift is installed, complete. Uh, overall, I'm glad I did it. I was a little tentative at first but it was actually pretty easy. It took me maybe an hour and a half, and uh, I actually started it on my own at first, and my wife came home and helped me do the second axle. I think if I had two people here the whole time, probably could have got it done just a little over an hour. Um, you can definitely see the clearance difference. 
and most notably is from the top of the tire to the bottom of the fender flare. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or if I'm going to leave it or if I'm going to go ahead and lower this down in the future. It might look kind of cool and give me some more room for some maybe bigger tires. I can get some knobby off-road tires or something in the future if I want to do that. Um, I also have definitely more clearance for the mini split. I was worried because it was pretty low. Now I'm about 10 and a half inches here and I have a full foot um, from the back of the trailer to the ground. Um, if you're thinking about doing it for any clearance issues that you might have, I would recommend it. The only thing I, I have not towed it yet, so I don't know if there's any difference in how it tows from the factory settings. I did read that most people have said there's little to no difference at all. Um, the only thing that I'm not 100% sure about is if I need to get a wheel alignment done. So I'm going to do some research to find out if I should take it somewhere to have my wheels aligned because I want to make sure that I'm not getting any uneven wearing when I'm towing it. So I'll make sure to get that taken care of before I do any long trips. And I hope this video helped you to decide whether or not it's something you want to do or need to do. And it's fairly simple, straightforward. All right, thanks for watching.